Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about payment terms in Odoo 16 accounting module. Payment terms with an invoice tell customers that they offs a certain amount to ensure that they are paid correctly on time. We need to add payment terms mainly to indicate a payment due date and payment condition. Payment terms can also use to indicate that an invoice payment can split into multiple payments. For example, 40 percent days on the invoice date and 60 percent days after 30 days. So let's see how to set up payment terms for my company San Francisco. So for that, just get into the accounting module and under configuration tab, we can see payment terms. So from this menu, you can choose payment terms. Here we can see uh, different payment terms with uh, the company and all. And in order to create a new payment term, you just click on new button. And here you can give the name of the payment term. We can also restrict this payment term for a particular company if you are setting the company name over here. And if you are not setting the company name, then this payment term can be used for all uh, the companies. So you can set the payment term as 40 percent days. Now. And. 60 percent days. After 30 days and in the description on the invoice you can provide the description so let me give it as trousers 40 percent days now and 60 percent days later so we can just copy paste that here and if you want to display this on the uh, invoice, you can just enable this field. Now we can also set the terms and condition for setting the payment term. So here we can set uh, the payment term uh, due type as uh, percentage. So we have two uh, types fixed amount and percentage. I'm setting it as percentage and you can set the value. So we are setting a value because we are making a payment currently with uh, 40 percentage and with zero months and zero days and we can also set the balance uh, of 60 percentage we will be making within one month which means after 30 days and uh, if you want to set uh, the days uh, you can set that or you can set it as uh, in in terms of month so here you will get uh, that we will be making installment of 40 percentage on the day that have shown and uh, the second installation with 60 percentage will be on next month so you can save this after that uh, you can also set this payment term for a particular customer if you want or you can also uh, choose any of the customer from the invoice and you can set so so let me set uh, the payment term for a particular customer right now so i'm choosing the uh, customer and under sales and purchase we can set the payment term so we can set a payment term for both sales and uh, purchase so if i'm setting uh, the payment term for sales and this can be used in the invoice and if i'm setting the payment term for purchase and this can be also used in the winter bills after that let me save this and uh, i need to create an invoice uh, to check how does this work so you can just click on new button in order to create uh, the invoice and you can fill the details of the customer so as uh, we have set the payment term for a particular customer when you choose a particular customer here you can see the payment term is automatically configured and you can also see the journal under this and uh, as we are creating the invoice we know that the default journal will be customer invoices and you can also set the amount that to be displayed in the customer invoice now you can fill the details of the product so let me choose a product as nexa and yeah uh, i don't need uh, the taxes so that you can remove the taxes from the invoice lines and when you go to the journal items here you can view uh, the uh, journal items with uh, the amount total amount and the account receivable so here there will be two accounts because we are making multiple payments uh, with 40 percent days on the date uh, that have shown and 60 percent days within the next month so we can see the uh, journal items as uh, like and when you go to the uh, i mean reporting and aged uh, receivables uh, let's see is there any reflection no so let's back to the invoices and let's confirm the invoice that we have created and yeah let me confirm the invoice so as you confirm the invoice 
you can see that under reporting the age to receivable so you will be seeing the age to receivables with two uh, just open the age to receivables and you can see that under the customer uh, the payment terms with two invoices will be generated and you can see that the first uh, amount will be uh, 40 percent days and the second amount that to be paid will be 30 percent days i mean uh, 60 percent days and the amount is shown within the date and in order to make the payment uh, let's back to the invoice so you can choose the invoice from here itself and uh, just click on view uh, journal entry now we can make payment for this so that you can just click on the register payment and here we need to set the payments accordingly that we have set in the payment term so i need to set the uh, amount as uh, uh, 40 percent days which will be two lakh dollar and ensure that you have entered the correct amount and if you want to make reconciliation you can just copy uh, this memo uh, in order to set the label and uh, set the payment difference as keep open so that you can see that when you click on create payment uh, this will be shown as partial payment now we need to make reconciliation for this so here you can see that uh, the this payment will be ma made on the date and everything is shown and the amount that is due will be shown here right now so when you back to uh, the customer invoices you can see uh, this is currently is uh, in partial payment state now we need to reconcile that and in order to reconcile uh, this you can just go to the dashboard and choose bank and click on reconcile and you can see uh, the payment over here now we need to create a statement uh, for this now give the amount so ensure that you have provided the correct amount uh, and here we can set uh, the label and you can also set the partner and we have already set the bank as the journal also now save and close the statement now you can choose uh, i mean just remove all other things uh, from here and let's choose the payment and let's make the statement and we need to match this so that click on validate so that currently this is matching now when you go back to the invoices you can see that it's in uh, payment i mean partial payment state after complete payment uh, the payment will be moving to the bank now you can also set uh, i mean in order to complete the payment you can just click on register payment and you can see the balance payment is shown here now let me click on create payment so that uh, currently this is in uh, pay i mean in payment state and you can see uh, that uh, the first amount that has paid and the second amount we need to make payment and when you again go to the dashboard and click on bank reconciliation uh, and you can choose uh, the yeah statement and you can also make uh, the payment that to be done in the statement and ensure that you have provided the proper I mean correct amount here you can also set uh, the customer and set the journal uh, provide the proper journal number And let me save and close this so after that you can uh, get the statement and payment and click on uh, check whether it's it can be validated or not by clicking validate button now just click on validate so that uh, it's currently matched now when you back to the invoices you can see uh, that has paid so this is how we manage with the payment terms so we can manage multiple payments whenever that we uh, that uh, there is a customer to make payments with the support of payment terms so hope this concept is clear for you thank you for watching the video